Good morning, commissioners, Fire Chief Terrazas, City Attorney Ms. Iniguez, Eric Scott, Fire Captain, Paramedic, Public Information Officer. Uh, this morning we are honoring Battalion Chief Craig White. We'd like to ask to come up and join us here. He was the only LAFD member to have participated in four out-of-state events of significance that occurred in 2017. He responded without hesitation and represented the LAFD in an exemplary manner by performing his duties with great professionalism and dignity, and dignity following these four major events. So first was at the end of September where he was deployed to Hurricane Harvey in Houston, Texas, and he served as a facilities unit leader. And this was with the Blue FEMA USAR incident support team. And he provided logistical support to all federal search and rescue assets assigned to the mission. Shortly thereafter, without returning home, Chief White was reassigned to Hurricane Irma in Florida, where he worked under the Red FEMA USAR IST and fulfilled the role of the logistics section chief and provided support to all local, state, and federal search and rescue assets for the entire southern half of the state of Florida. And then almost immediately upon his return home on October 1st, Chief White went to Las Vegas as an agency representative to assist LAFD members and their families who were participants and victims to the Las Vegas County Music Festival mass shooting that took place. Mm. He worked with our chaplains, the Relief Association Union leadership to ensure that the members um, had received the appropriate needs as well as their families. He visited several members in the hospital and many more via the phone. And all the while, he kept the department here back at home up to date with this tragic incident. And then lastly, within just a few days of his return from Vegas, he was deployed as a member of CAL FIRE Incident Management Team 1. And this was for the massively destructive Northern California fires that took place. And he was the team's Deputy Logistics Section Chief. So he provided logistics and direction during these historical large-scale incidents in Northern California. And in addition to his service at these major events, it would, should be noted that while he was out of the city, he stayed connected to his office. He attended to all matters that pertain to his regularly assigned position. Mm -hmm. So Chief Weiss' personal sacrifice, his commitment to service, at each of these events was of the highest tradition of the Los Angeles Fire Department and should be recognized as such. I'll say a few words and uh, Scott Porter will say a few and then Chief White can have the mic. I've had the pleasure of, of knowing both Craig and Wade White for over 30 years. They were uh, recruits when I was a peer group instructor. And that's the first time I was exposed to their work ethic, their passion, their dedication. And their father was on the job, by the way, too. That probably contributed a great deal to, to them and the men that they have become. When I think of Craig and Wade, but I'll focus on Craig because he's the honoree, honoree today, I think of, uh, dedicated members of our department that you can plug in literally anywhere and they will do an outstanding job in whatever assignment that they're given. Uh, we have great confidence in their ability, their dedication and their loyalty. And when I read, uh, I didn't put everything together until I read the certificate this morning that Craig had been involved in those four incidents. And I think that's not only a tribute to his passion I think that's a tribute to his family to allow him to be gone so much. And I was with him, if you remember, uh, upon the initial notification to go to Houston. We were on a golf trip. And um, he was ready to go right then and there. And I told Craig, wait, let's wait for the ask. This don't just self-deploy. And uh, we hadn't been deployed for several years, right? I think Katrina was the last time, is that right? So when this happened, it was an anomaly, and then later to find out, of course, we got requested again to go to Florida. And then again, a few people went to Puerto Rico. So I, I want to add my congratulations and, and um, appreciation 
for what you've done, Craig. It's just amazing, and I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. I think the best thing we can do when we have people like Craig doing what they do is to stay out of their way and to support them. So congratulations. I'm very happy to see you being recognized, and best wishes for the future. Thanks, Chief. I'll keep my comments very brief. I just want to say, as probably the newest member of the department speaking here today, I, I want to say how grateful I am to have Craig as part of the Information Technology Bureau. The guy is just such an excellent representative of the department. He's a true leader. He really exemplifies everything that's great about the department, and um, I think it's important, and I appreciate the fact that we can recognize him today. So thank you so much. Thanks, sir. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you all, uh, commissioners, chief, guests, staff. Um, for I guess my first thank you is obviously to my family who, like you said, uh, allow me to do the, the things that I do and truly enjoy doing. Uh, I want to thank you, chief, and uh, the rest of the staff for also supporting what we do out there and able to, you know, every day we learn something new out there in the in the field and we're able to bring that back. and and uh, hopefully make things uh, uh, better here as well. So that's kind of the, the drive for doing that. Uh, I, I should say thank you to my much older brother, uh, Wade, who's, <laughs> who's guided me through my career. And thank you for mentioning my father uh, as a uh, point of reference there. This, this is my dad's badge. Mm -hmm. He wore it, I'm wearing it. So this department means a lot to, to me and my family. And also I wanna say thanks to the rest of the staff back there, my, my, uh, my crew and friends, and uh, without uh, the hard work that they did while I'm gone, picking up the slack and keeping things going, uh, thanks to you guys as well. So, uh, thank you. Thank you.